Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday the 4th of October today. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the message from your Angels cards today to bring in a message for this day. So thank you Angels, what do we need to know please for this day? What do we need to be aware of for this day? Jumped on the camera. So we've got Sonia today, wow, it says I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I'm happy, I'm at peace, I love you very much, please don't worry about me. Please don't worry about me. So if any of you are worrying about a loved one, you may even be thinking about a loved one right now who may be ill or maybe you're wondering how much time they've got left or maybe you are sitting with someone today who's transitioning or you could be missing someone in heaven. This is a big message that you are safe and to not worry about anything. Give any concerns or fears to heaven. I'm definitely feeling right now that the loved ones are around us. The loved ones are coming through to remind you that God is in charge. You know, that message came out very powerfully on Monday. So you're receiving a message or a sign or a synchronicity or some kind of message today from someone in heaven who's watching over you. And you will know intuitively when you sit with the energy who this person is. It could be someone you are very close to, like a mom, a dad, a sister, brother, a friend. It could be a grandma or a granddad, or it could be someone you never met who is guiding you from above, like an ancient ancestor or an ancient relative or someone you may have heard your family talking about, but you never met yourself. But you are being watched over and you've been shown today that you are loved very much. Now, I want to bring in a message today from the other side. I also feel someone may be watching this who may have lost a divine masculine, you know, if your twin is on the other side, or maybe you are connecting with their higher energy in that way. So I'm going to bring through the divine masculine and spirit oracle first of all. So is there any loved ones coming through here from heaven? Yeah, we've got look towards the future. Look towards the future. So this message coming through is don't look back unless you are blessing the past, or if you are accepting of the past. Don't look back and wish things were different or wish you could change things because everything grew your soul. So look towards the future. And I feel you're going to be smelling this person. Can you smell me? So this could be if this person wore a certain type of perfume or aftershave. Or maybe you associate a certain smell with that, such as cut grass or hot coffee or something else. It could be something even more personal than that. But can you smell me? Maybe it's cigarette smoke. Or you just know that, wow, I can smell something. I know that that's a loved one around me in heaven. Someone is bringing a message through here. So you may smell strange smells today. And you may not be able to find where that smell is coming from because it's coming from heaven. We've got, I am surrounded by family and friends. So I feel this is what you've been reminded of in the physical world. That you are surrounded by family and friends right now. And even if you feel alone, if you feel like you've lost your family or you have no friends, you are surrounded by loved ones in heaven watching over you who are surrounded by family and friends. You also make friends with your own self and then you're never lonely. And you make friends with the angels because they are really your family. And this person above you is saying to you, I'm so very proud of you. I'm proud of everything you are and everything you've achieved. And whatever you're feeling or worrying about or going through, it will get better. It will get better. You made me so happy while I was alive. Be kind to each other. And this is about people on the earth. You know, be kind to your friends. Be kind to your family. Be kind to strangers. Be kind because we're all brothers and sisters in the school of life. And you did a stellar job. If you're thinking about you wish you could have done more for this person while they were living or if you're wondering if they think you did a good job, they're very proud of you. And they're saying you did a stellar job. You couldn't have done it any better. This can also be connected with arranging a funeral or a wake or sorting things out. Feel me at places we used to go. So you're going to be feeling their energy wherever they used to go, wherever you like to go. Maybe you're thinking about a certain event or it could be a certain time of year right now that's on your mind. Maybe you're thinking about Christmas time. Maybe there's places you used to go together at Christmas time. Go there. 
and I will visit you in a dream. So this person is going to come to you in a dream. This may even be why you're connecting with them right now, because maybe you've received a message already in a dream, and this is a sign they are with you, and that you are an earthly angel. You're here to help others, to help others to feel more peace in their life, to connect with their true self. Think of me fondly. So whenever you think of this person, don't think of them in pain or Think of them hurting. Think of them fondly because they're out of pain now. So I feel this person wants you to know there is no pain. So I'm also going to bring in a message from the Talking to Heaven deck. So what's the message, please, from heaven today for everyone watching? And you can put this message in to your own situation. So I've got two cards and they're blocking my throat. So if anyone wishes that there was things said to this person and maybe you couldn't, maybe there was no physical way that they could communicate with you or you weren't around them when they passed away. They want you to know that you have nothing to feel guilty about and that they feel healthy and happy right now. So that you've got nothing to feel guilty about. Whatever you feel guilty about connecting with this person or even about your own life right now, you have nothing to feel guilty about. Let that go. You know, guilt is an energy that does not serve you. Forgive and heal. This person is saying, I feel healthy and happy now. And James Van Pra channeled these cards so beautifully. So I'm going to read you from the guidebook. So think about what you may be feeling guilty about right now and release that because you've done nothing wrong and you have nothing to feel guilty about. And this person is coming through from heaven today to put your mind at rest about this. I see your nurture, your, they give me the word nurturing because you're also needing to nurture yourself right now. And maybe you are nurturing yourself more and it's bringing up feelings of guilt. So this person is saying to you, sweetheart, I see you torturing yourself with what if questions concerning my life, my health and my passing. And this could also be about what if scenarios around the past. You wonder whether you could have intervened so I'd still be in my physical body or if things could have been different. I am standing next to you right now to soothe away these thoughts. It's so important for you to understand that you did nothing wrong, that my physical passing was divinely timed and that you couldn't have changed anything. Please don't burden yourself with guilt any longer. Guilt is a complete waste of your earthly time, which is meant to be used in service of love. Guilt doesn't undo anything. I have forgiven myself for everything that I think I did or didn't do. But in the end, I learned that everything's already forgiven. And I pray that you also forgive yourself because you were so very loved and so very understood. Isn't that beautiful? So let go of any guilt you may be feeling today because this person feels healthy and happy. I can now do amazing things. Things I never dreamed were possible. And it feels like I'm doing them in a physical body except I'm so much lighter, freer and more flexible. And this is also about the power of surrender. I can do acrobatics if I want to. I can fly. I can jump as high as a mountain and I can move instantly between locations. It's magical here. The main thing I want to emphasize to you though is that all the aches, pains and suffering went away with my physical body. I can breathe, see and walk like a healthy young person now. All the limitations of a physical body are gone and I'm enjoying my spiritual body. I also see how I could have taken much better care of myself physically and enjoyed better health. And I hope you'll take this to heart too. After all, we only get one physical body per lifetime and it's built to last a lifetime if we take care of it. So the message coming through from heaven is to be good to you and to be kind to yourself and to others and to look after yourself. And remember, in this life, you are not alone because you are surrounded by heavenly assistance, loved ones in heaven, and support from above. I hope this helps. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.